الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله Islam encourages us to have mercy because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with his sunnah as a mercy for mankind. And mercy and rahmah is a part of the methodology of the Muslim. However, there are those groups and sects who wish to distort the prestige and insult the ummah, the nation of the Muslims, and belittle the Muslims and force the Muslims to have their view, their world view. Even if their view is not in accordance with Islam, even if their view is based upon a black and white image of the world an image painted and tainted with blood and brutality this is the image that groups like ISIS want to portray to the world this is the image that they want to give you, our youth, and say that this is Islamic Jihad, and say that this is raising up Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion by severing the heads of reporters, severing the necks of tourists, and anyone they find who opposes them. Islam contradicts the methodology of groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda, and all and Ansara this and Ansara that, and Hezbollah, the Shia, Rafida, and other deviant groups, and groups that have paved the way for a conflict of civilizations, and have paved the way in blood, in bones, of humanity, regardless of whether it is Muslim or non-Muslim. For them, it doesn't matter. So one of the key points that we find with a lot of these extremist groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda and those who preceded them, Jamaat al-Takfir wa Hijra, um, all of the various groups throughout history up until the Khawarij, is that they all use brutality. And they all tend to also share a trait that I didn't write, which is takfir. But we'll talk about that very briefly in a minute. So that brutality is one of their key components. Brutality and ignorance. So that they deceive the Muslim youth to come and join them. Girls are watching YouTube videos. Girls are on Twitter accounts, Twitter accounts on Facebook and all of these social media sites being enticed to come and join the true Mujahideen. But in fact, they are corrupting them. And in fact, they are deceiving them. And in fact, they are calling them to the hellfire. I don't say they're just calling them to deviance, but they're calling them to hell. Which Islam calls you to Jannah. Allah calls you to Jannah and they call you to the hellfire. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu who they claim, who they wish to follow, who we follow, Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the Prophet sallallahu said about groups that follow this path, the path of the Khawarij, Qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al Khawarij kilab al nar That the Khawarij and groups like ISIS follow their maslak, they follow their path, they are the dogs of the hellfire. Why is that? Because they fit the characteristics. They have zeal, which zeal is, it can be good if it's put in its proper place, if it's used for seeking knowledge, if it's used for zeal, for praying your prayer on time, zeal for doing good deeds, for serving your parents, zeal 
for sharing the message of Islam. But if it's zeal in brutality and ignorance, without focus, without direction, that calls you to leave from your parents, disobey your parents, go to a foreign land that you don't know anything about, and engage in chaos and destruction, destruction of people's property, the killing and slaughter of anyone in your way, and thinking that you're raising up the kalimat Allah? Nah. That's not what the Prophet Muhammad said. He was asked about jihad. And the Prophet said, the hadith goes as, this, as such, Su'ila Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an al-jihad fi sabilillah. فقال يا رسول سئل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن رجل يقاتل شجاعة يقاتل حمية يقاتل رياء أي ذلك في سبيل الله فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من قاتل لتكون كلمة الله عليا فهو في سبيل الله عز وجل The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked about the man who fights out of zeal, Hamasa, and the man who fights out of bravery, because he, he wants to show his bravery, and the one who fights to show off so that the people would say, what a great fighter, what a martyr, what a person who did this and did that. Which one of those is fi sabilillah? Which one of those is for Allah? The Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, the one who fights or strives to raise up the kalimat of Allah earlier, then this is fi sabilillah This is for the sake of Allah. It's not about your desires. And it's not just based on your intentions. The Prophet Muhammad said, in ma'amala bin yad, actions are tied to the intentions. Letting us know that your actions they're governed by your intentions. If you have good intentions and good actions, then you can have success in whatever you're doing. But if you say you're going to perform jihad, which is Allah's deen, to raise up Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen, it has to be in accordance with the mercy of Muhammad sallallahu and how he did things as he was a mercy for mankind. The Prophet Sallallahu prohibited, and you'll find this in Sahih Muslim, or Sahih al-Bukhari, he prohibited killing women and children, and the elderly, and the religious people. Meaning there, if it was a Jewish uh, a rabbi, or a preacher, but do you see groups like this? Do their suicide bombers distinguish between who they're going to kill? When they put on the vest and they blow themselves up, do they distinguish? When they sever the necks of people, do they distinguish? Or for them, it's just a matter of blood brutality, as we said, severing the heads of innocents. The next point I want to mention is takfir. This is a part of the creed and the, the qaida of the Khawarij. This is the foundation. The founding principle of them is that they declared other Muslims who did the major sins to be disbelievers. And if you study the history of the Khawarij and you study the various sects, and you can go to Imam uh, Abu Hassan al-Ashari, rahimahullah ta'ala, go to his book, Maqalat al-Islamiyin. And you'll find in it, he spoke about the various sects of the Khawarij. And there was the Azaraka, which was one of the sects, who used to kill their enemies. Meaning that anyone who opposed their belief, their understanding of Islam, no matter how deviant it was, they declared them an enemy, illegitimate Muslim, and they killed them. And they were so extreme that they even said that we are hypocrites, we are disbelievers until we make hijrah, until we leave this land and go to another land. So they made takfir on themselves. Do you want to be a part of this? Is this what you understand from Islam? Do you think your Lord, Rabbil Alameen, taught you this? Wants this for you? 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَفْتُ وَالْجِنِ وَالْنَيْتِ لَلِي عَبْدُونَ I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Is that worshipping the law? Is that worshipping the law? Subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is that going to bring you closer to Allah? Blowing yourself up? When the ulama of Islam, ulama of Ahl Sunnah especially, have declared by studying these issues that this is clearly haram. This is clearly suicide. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said that the one who kills himself, that he will be in the hellfire forever, killing himself in the same manner. So if you drink poison, you'll be drinking poison. You blow yourself up, you blow your guts out, and your head's found over here, and you blow up 20, 30 people with it, or just one person, or whatever it was, you'll be in the hellfire blowing yourself up. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. So their trade is that they make takfir and Muslim. Doesn't ISIS say that they, their, their general people, say that you know we're tearing up our passports, we're coming back to our our, our countries with the Kalashnikov, we're coming back with the whatever uh, weapon of choice, meaning that and they very openly declare all the Muslim countries to not be Muslim countries, as if they have the Muslim state, which they can't even protect. And soon we will see that they can't protect it. They distort the image of Islam. Islam, as we mentioned, is a beautiful faith for everyone to embrace. Leave off disbelief, leave off kufr. This is what all the prophets of God were sick with. Allah says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ رَسُولًا إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ Which Tanibu Tabood. We've sent to a, uh, every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and stay away from those things worship besides Allah. Islam invites you. It doesn't care about your color. Even your orientation. You can come to Islam and leave those habits. The important thing is that you embrace Islam, that you worship God and God alone and associate no partners with him. They distort the image of Islam, they distort the image of the Mujahideen, the real Mujahideen, those who, who strive fi sabilillah, azza wa jal. Jihad is not a, 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 a brutal and wicked institution, it's a glorious institution that Allah has legislated based on kitab illa wa sunnah rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with a madhab of the salaf of this ummah. Corrupting our youth. Groups like ISIS, they corrupt our youth. How many young girls, Muslim girls, Somali girls, Arab girls, converts, reverts, whatever you want to call them, from all over the West are running and being corrupted by these people. Come, come support the Mujahideen. Come, help. They have a good intention. They want to help Islam. They see their Muslim brothers and sisters dying and suffering in Syria and Iraq by the Shia Rafida and the wicked Shaitan Bashar, one of the devils amongst men. But they only go and add to the chaos. They only go and add to the bloodshed and the bleeding of the Muslims. And that brings up the next point, is they kill Muslims. Mostly what you find, if you look at the history of Al-Qaeda and all of these other groups, their suicide bombs, even the Taliban, all these guys, who do they who do they target? They make tech fear, then they just blow up everybody. Because to them, the army, this, that, the police, the imam of the masjid, this imam disagreed with us, this one spoke a lecture about us, they're all legitimate kills to them. They just kill. They kill more Muslims than anyone else. And we don't advocate the killing of anyone. But making the point that we have to reflect on these people. As some people speculate that they're really a part of the Jewish intelligence community, meaning the uh, Israel, the state of Israel, that they're really a part of that. This we don't know. This we can't speculate about. We don't really have any evidence. But some people speculate this because of the harm that we see. Because Islam comes always looking at the maslaha wa masada, looking at the harm and the benefits of things. If there's more harm in doing something, you leave it. 
what kind of benefit are they bringing to the Ummah? Are they bringing Izzah? Are they bringing honor to the Ummah? Are these kids going, thinking that they're bringing honor and dying in the dirt and killing, thinking that they're raising up Islam and giving Islam a beautiful image? Islam preserves life, religion, and it's a mercy for mankind. Islam is for everyone. Islam teaches us to detest the creed and actions of the Khawarij and of groups like this who make takfir of their brothers and sisters, you know, declaring their brothers and sisters to be apostates and spilling their blood. Because that's what is the next step. That's always the next step. When you make him legitimate, uh, 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 you make him no longer a Muslim and take away his rights, then the next thing is these people, they always follow. And this is the minhaj, the methodology of Ahl Bid'ah, that they take, they spill blood. They spill blood. And they want to spill you, your blood and my blood. So this is just a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam. And there's so much nasus. This isn't the place to talk about the nasus. This is just a simple word of encouragement or hopefully a word of deterrence for those who are on the fence thinking about joining these kind of people. Don't. If you want to serve Islam, make sure you're praying your prayer on time. Because if you do this and you don't pray, for sure, you'll find your seat in the hellfire. If you don't have the correct aqidah, the correct creed of who God is, who Allah is, and how to worship Him properly, Tawheed, Tawheed al-Uluhiyah, Tawheed al-Ubudiyah, Tawheed al-Asma'ul-Wasifat, Allah's al 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 Lordship. He's the only one. He created everything. Uluhiyah, that all worship goes to Him, your salat, your zakat, your hajj, your jihad, everything, your charity. Your smile, everything that is an act of worship that is for Allah. And it's directed to Him and Him alone. And that knowing His divine names and attributes. This is really the job of the Muslims, especially in the West, of learning these things, propagating this to the people in the society, showing them the beauty of Islam. So avoid this wicked, sinful extremism, which its head will be cut off, without doubt, but unfortunately, as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu prophesied, two more will grow in its place. Because there will always be a group from amongst these people. And we'll always be ordered as Muslims to fight them with our tongues. Fight them, hate, hate them in their evil extremism in our hearts. And if we have the ability to do so, stop them with our hands. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said in Sahih Muslim, من راء منكم منكرا فليغيره بيد فإن لم يستطع بلسانه فإن لم يستطع بقلبه وذلك عدم الإيمان. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in Sahih Muslim in the Hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri رضي الله تعالى عنه. He said that whoever sees an evil, then stop it with his hands. If he's unable to do so, then speak out against it. If he's unable to do that then hate it in his heart, and that's the weakest form of faith. So at least detest this extremism which taints Islam and taints the image of the Muslims, because it will never benefit uh, anyone. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan.